We're gonna take it from the Culver's, well, Starbucks, to downtown Franklin, Indiana, instead of going back to the office and see how it does in a more congested area. It's gonna turn right here. No, nope, it's gonna go straight. Change this one. <laughs> I just went nuts. What is going on? All right, it's struggling right now. And it's going to, uh, what's it gonna do? It's trying to turn this way. I'm gonna actually give it a hand here. Now we can make it go because that was that would have gone the wrong way. So we're gonna take it through a roundabout, see how it does. All right, there she goes. I love how it uses a turn signal in the roundabouts. I think it understands how roundabouts work. Alright. So now we've got to uh, make a right. Got a green light. Oh, it's got to turn. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Because now we're going to make a right turn on a red. But you know, normally, if I was driving, I would make this turn right now, right? But it's just sitting here, like, completely confused as to what to do. It knows it has to turn that way. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna turn around us here in a second. But it's completely lost. It should have the turn signal going, but it doesn't. There is a car behind us, but they're waiting. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. Oh, now I decided to turn the turn signal on. And there, green light. You don't have to uh, indicate that the green light is on there. It used to, before we had the full self-driving, when we were waiting for the beta to come out, it would stop for stop signs, red lights, all that. But as soon as the light turned green, I'd have to hit the button or uh, press the gas in order for it to go. That's no longer the case. It's doing it on its own. Kind of cool. All right, so now we go down this road go through the roundabout and go into uh, downtown Franklin. Oh, look, we're changing lanes. Also, doesn't have to ask for permission. It just decides what it wants to do. So we told it to go to a coffee house downtown. The old coffee house five. Let's see if it can take us there. All right, let's go to make this turn. Let's see the people walking. sign. Speed limit went down. Car went down in speed. Good deal. We're coming into town here. I'm going to be a little bit more vigilant now since we're going to be in a more congested area. Maybe next time we'll take it to downtown Indy. Must not exist because they did not appear. All right, so the road's closed ahead, so it's got a detour. Can't go straight. Well, it's gonna make the turn. Not bad. I would have probably driven it the exact same way. All right, now we're gonna make a right. front of the college here. Stops. Full stop and turn. Now we're going into downtown. Now this is a little bit of a small downtown. It's not super crazy. But it's, uh, there'll be a little bit, there'll be some cars. I mean, it's 
it's in like well considering that it's like you know in a pretty congested spot here all right stopping and oh, oh here comes something interesting oh it worked its way around it Stop here. It's creeping ahead. <laughs> it took a while. Just <laughs> trying to make sure it was safe. And Coffee House 5 is right here on the left. <clears throat> We've made it. Oh, it's confused. It's like, what do I do now? What do we do? What do we do? We'll go back to the office. All right. Let's make our turn. Turn it back on here in a second. And there we go. Oh. Wow. It really wanted to stop and let these pedestrians by. <laughs> Very smart car. The pedestrians approved. All right, here we go. Another right-hand turn. Let's see how it trips out. Okay, you can tell like it's got to creep forward. There's traffic though coming, and it's still gonna go for it. It made the right-hand turn without it being a, on a red. So like, without it having a green arrow, it made the turn by itself. Pretty smart. I wonder how it's gonna do over those train tracks. You know how it gets really sketchy getting back to the office? There's like this weird little turn. We'll see how it does there. All right, left-hand turn. No arrow this time, so it's gotta, it's, it's going like way off in the middle here. Okay, let's see, there's a spot here opening. And it goes for it. About to hit that car, but it misses. There she goes. But it's gonna it's gonna be kind of sketchy up here because there's a weird little jog right there where the road curves, and we gotta take this other side road, and then there's a really weird spot where it's got to cross over some railroad tracks and there's like that's a really strange intersection so we'll try we'll try to see what happens during that time it's where these roads all combine up here so all right creeping forward and it's going So it's got to turn up here where there's like a little jog here. The road curves and then there's like the little side street. Okay, it sees it. Yep, it's got it in its sights. Turning and there we go. It's so assertive in its driving, which I have it in the assertive mode. So that's probably why it's so assertive. Not a normal intersection. And we've got the Amazon truck in the way up here. So someone's doing a delivery. The driver just got out, so it's gonna we gonna go around. <laughs> it's going around. Well she just went right around, didn't even didn't even care. No cares were given. Tesla knew it's up. Oh, it's gonna make us turn here? See normally you'd go up there and turn that way. Trying to avoid this, and that, and it avoided the puddle too. Did you see that? There was a big puddle over there, and it just went all the way around it. That was interesting. So now it's going to turn here, but it's avoiding all the puddles. Wouldn't have expected it to do that. Still blows my mind that it knew to actually go and do that whole circle. 
So here's where it's gonna get fun. So it's gotta go straight. Oh, now it's just stopping back here for no reason. I think right. so. The thing is the uh, stoplights. Oh, it thinks it's stoplights. Oh, because of the railroad tracks. All right, it's turning, it's turning, it's doing it, and then it just stops. <laughs> it just stops. <laughs> the guy looked at us like we were crazy. He was like, "You dumb people." I think it's really smart. Um, it's much smarter than I thought it was going to be. I've seen other videos of it, and it seemed like it was a little bit more jerky. Um, now that's the videos I've seen are like some really serious urban conditions. Um, but for the roads that I use and here in Indiana where it's the Midwest and there's not like, it's not a whole lot of urban around here. It's, uh, it's very good. Um, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely, you still have to pay a lot of attention, which I almost feel like because the car is driving itself, I probably pay more attention than I would even pay when I was driving myself if that makes sense because I'm always like constantly like making sure um, I trust it a lot more on the highway than I do on these roads but it's cool I just know like people like the self-driving because it frees their mind or whatever it makes it easier to not have to think about driving and all the stress involved um, but in all reality I think it's I think I'm, I'm spending more time still getting used to it. Maybe after a while that'll change um, and as the technology gets better, but it's definitely still something you gotta get used to. Here we go, roundabout. But I think it'll get better over time. And I, the one part that's annoying is when it's turning so much and then it's telling you to grab the steering wheel. It's like, I don't wanna like mess it up though while it's in the middle of a maneuver trying to you know show that I'm still here or whatever um, so that's that's kind of the weird part I think still I think I got to work that out somehow but that could be I also know that self-driving is very very new so there's not really a whole lot of safety measures that have been taken yet so I understand why they're trying to be cautious and make sure that they do everything right this is a whole new thing but they'll get it right It'll get easier. This is a very, very early full self-driving consumer vehicle. Most self-driving vehicles are in beta or being tested by companies. I just love that it still turns on the turn signal when it goes around curves. But that curve, historically, has been a really hard curve for this car to handle in autopilot mode. Um, it always tends to get lost around that curve but it's not doing that so much anymore it's definitely a lot smarter than it used to be the full self-driving has enhanced all the autopilot stuff tremendously all right well it says you've arrived but we're not in the parking lot but we're there I think it's cool I think it's a cool piece of technology. I uh, Once you try it, it's hard to ever go back to not having it. So we'll uh, keep testing it. And as new updates come out, we'll shoot more videos. We'll show you guys what it's like. And as it gets better, we'll document it. It'll be kind of fun.